Hi, it's Marco from Moose Marketing and PR, the editor of Punchline Magazine. Welcome to Punchline Talks. Today, I'm with Bruce Gregory. He's the managing director of Hub 8. Great to see you again, Bruce. You too, Mark. We're outside the Cheltenham Library, the Wilson over there, and here we are, the Minster Exchange we again. Are, we are. It's great to have welcome you back. Ooh. Can I take you on a quick tour through, Mark? I'd love to see it. Now, we, it, it hasn't been without its problems, but it is really moving along now, isn't it? It is. And yeah, you're right, Mark. But I think now we're, we're at a moment where we're getting very excited about opening the building. So I'd like to, to take you on a quick tour and give you a sense of you know, how important this building is for the town, for what we're building, and I think really about the future of the town. Yeah, it's about the future, our future generations, about attracting young talent to the town and also retaining our young talent. Now the big thing about this particular space is that you forget straight away that it's a model of construction. This is a bit on the side of it, isn't it? That's this, correct. What is this room going to be? So this is our event space, which will... Uh, seat 150 people, 250 people standing. It's really building on Cheltenham's wonderful heritage of a festival town. You know, the wonderful activities that we have, we can deliver a programme events with Cheltenham festivals where we're really bringing the, the cultural strengths of the town together with this technology sector that's really going to deliver the growth for, for Cheltenham in the region. Uh, and if you just look on through here, this is uh, the space where Cheltenham festivals will be, will be based. So as you can see, uh, we'll have a mixture of seating in here. You can just imagine when it's all kitted out. There'll be some, uh, some meeting rooms also in the corner as well. Uh, so a range of really kind of, I guess, the future of the workplace kind of approach here. And how many people are working here, do you reckon, Cheltenham so, Festivals? Uh, you, we've got, there's room for between 50, around 50 people in there. Okay. So let's walk on through. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Right, okay, so this is, good. this is the actual main yeah, entrance. Yeah, so, so here, here we're, we're at the main entrance to, to, the, to the Minster or the MX. Yeah. Uh, so, as you can see in the background, we've got the, the, the church itself. Uh, and as you come in through, there'll be the cafe through here. Right, okay. Uh, that will open out into the Minster Gardens. Yes, yeah, nice, nice space for the cafe as well. How many, uh, how many seating? So we can, we can fit... Uh, so around 24 people in here. Right, okay. Cafe space, but also opens out into the Minster Garden. Great stuff. So if you've got a business here, fantastic place. Come down, have a rest, introduce people. Absolutely. Okay, so the bit of a noise has gone, thankfully. And, uh, and then if you imagine, I think a really important part of this initiative is, is the Growth Hub, that we're delivering partnership with G First LEP. And so we've got a Growth Hub centre here. Great stuff. So you're walking from here straight into the Growth exactly. Hub. Reception there, cafe there. The Here's the growth hub. Wow, fantastic. Uh, so you've got three small meeting rooms or four-person meeting rooms uh, where you know, businesses, if you're, if you're a baker, if you're an uh, IT solutions company, you can come here and get the support to, to your businesses to, to develop and grow. Okay. Um, and then you just see here the main entrance to, to the event space. That's where we came in. Lose round yeah, here, they look like loose. Quickly scoop round to have a look at the loose. Oh, yes, lots of loose, <laughs> very important. It's really important for a place like this yeah, to have well, enough bathrooms. Like to, I'd like to take you upstairs if that's all right. That's okay, all right. I'm going to pull you around at a bit of a pace, but there's so much to see. Okay, uh, so if we're going upstairs now, that's going to be the lift there, I think. Yeah, lift corner in the corner. Uh, and, and this is really building on the, on, the, on the community that we've developed within Hub 8. You know, we've got two vibrant co-working spaces in the town. Well, one uh, just a short distance from here in the brewery. The other that we deliver in partnership with Gloucestershire College. And this is going to be, you know, our third co-working space. No. So we've got a range of different... It's in offices here. Offices I'll just quickly... Here. This is a 12-person private office. We've got another one the same size through here. Again, looking out onto the Minster Gardens. You know, when it's done, you'll be able to... There'll be a Juliet balcony in front of these windows, and you'll be able to open up into the gardens. Great office. It's a fantastic oh, light as well, isn't it? Yeah. Very exciting, yes. Uh, there'll be a, uh, a small kitchen area in here, so teas, coffees... Etc. for the businesses can Biscuits. Can use. Biscuits, Biscuits really okay. important. Yeah. Very important. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, this is one of our larger offices, and it's all about giving companies, you know, small and larger place to be, so we can fit 20 to 24 people in here. Uh, but it's also that ability for companies to scale and grow, mm. and this is a place that we can, we can do 
that. It's sort of, sort of that eclectic mix, isn't it, really, of different size of companies. It's so important. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, in in Hubei at the moment, we've got you know oh. from from tech giants, uh, so from Sock Presterias to AWS, but we've also got a strong community of startups and SMEs. So you've got three different mini offices here. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, so we've got what we call 10 person offices and a boardroom. Uh, but this will be a, this area will be a member's lounge. So we'll have phone booths, we'll have some soft seating, we'll have some uh, dedicated desks here so people can use the minister on a flexible basis. You don't need a private office, you can hot desk as well. Mm. And that's the way it's going, isn't it? Let's it be honest, great. you know, companies... This is really crucial. You know, we're seeing companies, if you've got, if you employ 30 people, you don't need 30 desks. Yeah. Um, because the way in which people work now, a more distributed way, uh, they need smaller spaces. And it's all about the utilisation of spaces. So I think that's really important. Okay, and Come over on. there is the Poundland, which obviously the council have bought, with a big hole in the roof as well. Now this bit, I know it's quite special as we go to the yeah, top yeah, because... Well, well, let me take you this way first. Okay. So we're on the second floor now. And we've got another lounge area here. Some great views of the town. Um, this will be uh, a place where we're going to have dedicated desks. So that means that companies don't need to take a whole private office. They can take a desk, one test, two or three desks. Um, so we'll have a range of different companies in this space. And then if our, I'll quickly highlight, we've got a couple of smaller offices here. These are our eight-person offices. But I'm really excited to show you this space, Mark, because I think it really, it really encompasses the ethos of the building and what we're trying to do. Um, you know, since we launched Hub 8 in 2019, it's, as we call it, it's the engineer serendipity. It's about bringing people together. And this building is really about how we enable that to happen. And so here we've got what will be our members lounge. Uh, so you'll have a lovely balcony out here, looking over the Minster Gardens again, a range of sort of seating, so lounge seating, hot desks. So if you're, again, if, if you're a small company, you can bring a client up here and have a meeting. If you're a large company, you can bring, up a, bring a client here and have a meeting. But I think really importantly, it will drive vibrancy within the building. So enable activity, so people moving around. When you get people moving around, conversations happen. When conversations happen, good things generally tend to happen too. So we're really excited about what will be, this will do in terms of growing that, that community of technology, companies, which is really crucial for the town in terms of the future growth. Bruce, I look forward to having a coffee and a cake up here with you very, very <laughs> shortly. Thanks ever so much for the Lovely quick to tour around. Great to see you. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, Mark. All the very best.